Hey guys, this is Ryan here, uh, or Maniac. I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial about the basics of Cinema 4D, but while it's loading, I'm going to say this. Um, this is my, I have a gaming channel. Um, you, I probably sent you here for my gaming channel, but um, yeah, this is my channel where um, I'm going to upload non-copyright and um, only editing tutorials, uh, graphics tutorials, speed arts, all that. I'm only going to be uploading that stuff, um, nothing else. So, um, yeah, there will not be any copyright on this channel, and, um, I'm hoping to get a lot of, um, more active subscribers, but, um, anyways, yeah, if you want to see gaming videos, go to my gaming channel, so, yeah, it's going to be a link in the description, so, alright, this is the basics on how to use Cinema 4D, um, so, what are these tools right here are basically your basic tools, um, these three right here are the ones you'll use the most. And along with these three, they're kind of similar, but not really. But anyways, the first thing you want to do is creating text. I mean, that's what you always want to do. So, um, I have R12. You might have an R11, but um, 740 R12. There should be something called text object or mo under MoGraph right here. Go to MoGraph and go to text object or mo text. Okay. If you don't see it, message me or something, and I'll figure it out. But um. I don't have R11, I upgraded, so, anyways, this is your basic text, and there you go, I mean, EP, but, anyways, what you want to do here is, um, to create a better text, uh, you might want to have, um, just a material, I'll show you the material in a second, but anyways, um, your four, your three tools are just resizing, tool, rotation tool, and your move tool. Alright, your move tool can you move in the Z space, uh, Y space, X space, X, Y, and Z. That's a 3D. So, basically, what you want to do is um, just play around with you get the right angle. And uh, you can change the text down here. Say, like, Ryan. Alright. You can change the depth, which is pretty much the basic like, size of it. I'll change that. Ooh, I'll change that. Usually I use about like an 80, 70, 60, whatever. Um, and a font, I would choose a nice thick font like Boris Black Box. Uh, you can download this from dafont.com. I don't know, it doesn't look that good, but anyways. Use a font that's a little bit thicker than normal font. And then um, to add a color to it, pretty much what you want to do is making a new material. Materials, well, they are what they are, they're materials. They go on your object. And they cover your object. So I'm going to change this to a light blue. Looks good. Uh, yeah, looks good. So now, there's a bunch of things we can do. We can put reflection on it, but we don't have any objects to reflect off of it, and we don't have any light right now. That will be in another video, but this is just showing you how to use Cinema 40, basically. Um, and anyways, uh, there's my basic blue text. Um, yeah. Um, to make it to uh, move it around, obviously you just do this. Um, yeah. And uh, I wouldn't recommend using this to move it around a lot, unless you're like trying to place it in a certain object, but or a certain area, or you have, if you have multiple objects. But if you just have one text object, I recommend doing using uh, the camera tools right here instead of actually moving your text, because it's a lot easier to manipulate. And you can uh, do some nice, you can do zooms and stuff like that. But anyways, this um, this has been like a basic tutorial. I'm going to show you how to render now. So if you want to render just this little image, um, all you got to do is I just I just want the text. Say I want to put this in the background. All I want to, you want to do is this: double click or just click that and make sure those both those bubbles are green right there, next to the text. Make sure they're both green. Go to this little button right here. Hit output and then do. Make sure it says from frame zero to frame zero, and then all you want to do is go to save and make sure it says alpha channel, and then you want to choose PNG, and then you choose your save area. And that's about it. Um, yeah, so you just choose that. I'm just going to choose Ryan. 
Um, and now I'm going to go hit the middle button to render. This is a pre-render, this is a preview, and this is an actual render button. There, my video is rendered, my picture is rendered. Alright, now if we go look at it in my PNG, um, let me see, quick look. There, see, it has no background, it's transparent. That's what the Alpha channel does. So, that this guy has been a tutorial on the basics of Cinema 40 and getting started. So, yeah, next time I will do advanced text and lighting. So, thanks guys for watching. This has been Cinema 40 Basics.